Eight scientific facts the Bible got wrong. Science facts in this video were submitted by a confirmed deist. Viewer discretion is advised. Fact one, light wasn't there before the sun. Genesis 1 describes the order of creation. Light is made on day one, but the sun isn't created until day four. How can there be light without the sun? Oh, wait, wait, I got this one. Uh, here, here's a light. Here's, here's another light. Here's a light. Cool. I just made light three times without the sun. Good point to say that the omnipotent God was capable of making the entire universe, but somehow couldn't make light without the sun is a bit presumptuous. But if you don't like James's answer, hey, just remember, even the Big Bang Theory doesn't start with the sun on day one. It just starts with a huge explosion of matter and energy, or light. Fact two. The Earth wasn't there before the Sun. Now, this is pretty much the same thing, isn't it? Pretty much. The first sentence in the Bible says, in the beginning God created the heavens and the Earth. But doesn't science say the Sun came first and then the Earth? Um, does it? Well, no. Some scientists might say the Sun came first, but that is not science. Science starts with observation. and. None of those scientists were there at the beginning of time to observe anything. No. In fact, astronomers have never witnessed star formation, so all they can do is tell a cosmological story that may be different from the Bible. But that's not a fact, it's just a story. Fact 3. Adam and Eve didn't exist. Uh, wait a second, how does he know that? Good point. We have a historical record, namely Genesis, which identifies the first two people. Adam, which simply means man, and Eve, which simply means life. It is a scientific fact that the human race is propagated by a man and a woman. It's basic biology. As Aristotle put it 2,350 years ago, man begets man. Fact 4. Insects have six legs, not four legs. Oh, what? Yeah, okay, I think this comes from Exodus 11.20. All flying insects that walk on all fours are to be regarded as unclean by you. Just to clarify, the modern taxonomy of insects having six legs didn't exist back then. And it, it's not like Moses did not know how to count legs on bugs. So why does this passage say insects with four legs? The next verse tells us why. There are, however, some flying insects that walk on all fours that you may eat, those that have jointed legs for hopping on the ground. Of these, you may eat any kind of locust, catty did, cricket, or grasshopper. Grasshoppers walk around on their front four legs, and they only use their hind legs to jump. So the Bible was just being very specific about the bugs you can eat. It wasn't trying to teach you about biology of bugs. Fact five, the value of pi isn't three. <laughs> hey, don't laugh. Yeah, but come on, where does it say anything about pi in the Bible? Second Chronicles 4, 2. He made the sea of cast metal, circular in shape, measuring 10 cubits from rim to rim and 5 cubits high. It took a line of 30 cubits to measure around it. But if we use Archimedes' formula for the circumference of a circle that was discovered in 250 BC, namely c equals 2 pi r, we get 31.4 cubits, not uh, hold 30. Hold on, David. Um, okay, I just got 31.41592653. Uh, you should really get a better calculator. Yes, and I think that's the point. The Bible is not wrong, it's just not as precise as some people would like. But they, they weren't putting a man on the moon uh, 3,000 years ago. They were just making a big bowl, a big uh, bowl for the temple. Yep, they were making a bowl. Fact six. 
homosexuality is not a seduction by a Satan, but a natural, born, healthy sexual orientation. Okay, so this has nothing to do with scientific fallacies. No, it's just about morality. But the Bible is very clear. People don't decide what is morally right and wrong. God does. People can vote, they can make laws for society, but ultimately they will face their creator and be judged by the only judge that really matters. Fact 7. The firmament is not a solid roof over the world. Well, I agree with that. And so does the Bible. In King James, Genesis 1 6 says, And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the water. So, uh, what is this firmament? Is it a solid roof over the world? The word is rakaya in Hebrew. And verse 8 even tells us what it is. And God called the firmament heaven. Like heaven? With God and angels? No, like the sky. But how do you know that it wasn't solid? Because in Deuteronomy 4.17, the same word is used for air when it says winged fowl that flieth in the air. You, you can't fly in a salt. So it's just a translation thing. Yep. That's why most modern translations use the word space or expanse instead of firmament. Fact 8. The moon doesn't produce physical light. So, is that what the Bible actually says? No, it doesn't. Genesis 1.16 says, God made two great lights, the greater light to govern the day and the lesser light to govern the night. It, it does not explain to us how the moon or the sun produce light. Why not? Because this is not the purpose of the passage. Instead, Moses is explaining why these lights are there. To mark day and night. And seasons and years. For the calendar. So is this the only purpose of the moon and the sun? No, it's just the one that Moses explains in this passage. Similarly, the expression, moon will not give its light in Mark 13, 24, is not written to teach us about how the moon produces light. It just means that it will go dark. Yeah, that's right. After all, the sun doesn't actually rise or set, does it? The, the earth rotates, but we still say rise and set anyways. It's a euphemism. Good word. So that's it. Uh, those were all of the objections, the, the facts that the Bible got wrong that, that our viewer provided for us. Yes, but he ends off the list with a little conclusion. If the Bible would be inspired by God, it would be without fallacies, but it isn't. Yes, yeah, but honestly, I think some of these are kind of silly. He could have just Googled the answers himself. And in a way, they're just an excuse not to believe. You might be right, but that doesn't let us off the hook because we should be ready always to give an answer for why we believe. Hi, I'm David. Hi, I'm James. And we really need your help to get the message out. Please subscribe to our channel and watch the next one.